If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. To make a query in Query Design View in Access, click the Query Design button in the Queries button group on the Create tab of the ribbon. The first thing to note in the Query Design View in Access is the Add Tables pane that appears at the right side of the window. Like the Relationships window, which we previously discussed, this pane lets you add the table or tables needed for the query into the Query Design View. Here, select the name of the table or tables to add. To select multiple tables at once, hold down the Control key on your keyboard while you click the table names to select them. After selecting the Table or Tables, then click the Add Selected Tables button at the bottom of the Add Tables pane to add the selected tables to the Query Design View window. To close the Add Tables pane when finished, click the X button in its upper right corner. When using Query Design View in Access, the tables from which you extract data appear in the top section of the Query Design View. You then add the fields from these tables to view in your query results into the bottom grid section, which is called the QBE grid or Query by Example grid. Once the fields are in place, you also add any criteria and sorting options as needed to the QBE grid to filter and sort just the data that you want to see. Ensure you only add tables you absolutely need to run the query to the query design view. Adding additional tables you don't use forces the query to access those tables whenever it runs, slowing it down pointlessly. It can also produce unexpected and sometimes erroneous results. As you add the necessary tables to the query, the joins you created between the tables also appear at the top of the query. Make sure you add all the necessary tables for your query. For example, assume you have two tables from which to extract data, the Customers table and the Employees table. Also assume that those two tables do not share a direct join between them. For the query results to make any sense, you must also add the table used to associate those two tables as well. Assume the employees table is related to the customers table through the sales table. In this case, you must also add the sales table to the query, even if you don't intend to show any data from that table. In this case, it is needed to relate the two tables from which you want to show data. If you add two tables not joined to each other in any way, the query result often produces a Cartesian product where every value in every row of one table is multiplied by the value in every row of the second table. You will usually notice when this happens as you will probably have several hundred if not thousand more records in your query result set than data records in either table. After adding the necessary tables to the query, you should see the tables you added appear as small table diagrams at the top of the query design view. To reopen the Add Tables pane if you forgot a table and need to add it to the query, click the Add Tables button that appears in the Query Setup button group on the Design tab of the Query Tools contextual tab in the ribbon. To remove a table if you accidentally added a table that you do not need, right-click the table diagram of the table to remove at the top of the query design view. Then select the Remove Table Choice from the pop-up menu that appears. To then add the fields to show in the Query Results set from the tables at the top of the Query Design view into the grid at the bottom of the Query Design view, click and drag the name of the fields to add from the table diagrams at the top of the view and drop them into the columns in the Design grid at the bottom of the view. Alternatively, double-click the name of a field in the table diagram to add it to the next available column in the design grid. Alternatively, select the name of a field from the drop-down that appears at the right end of the field row when you click into it within a column in the design grid. Note that the order in which these fields appear in the design grid is the order those fields appear in the query results set. To add all the fields from a query table into your query's results set, click and drag the first field in the table diagram, which shows an asterisk, down into the QBE grid and release it. 
Doing that shows all the fields in that table in the results set of the query. To remove a field you accidentally added to the design grid or reorganize the order of the fields in the design grid, first select the fields column to delete or move in the query design grid. To select a field in the query design grid in Access, place your mouse pointer slightly above the column in the grid area to select until you see a downward pointing black arrow appear. Then click once to select the field. To delete it at that point, press the delete key on your keyboard. To move it, place your white mouse arrow into the thin bar at the very top of the selected column, and then click and drag the selected column to the left or right. As you drag it, you will see a thick black line appear between the columns over which you drag your mouse. This line represents where the column will insert itself once you release your mouse. Most often, after adding the fields you want to the QBE grid, you then add sorting and filtering criteria to the query. However, if you don't want to restrict the data that appears, you can run the query at this point. To run a query and view its result set, Click the Run button that appears in the Results button group on the Design tab of the Query Tools contextual tab in the ribbon. The result set looks like a table does when viewed in Datasheet View. However, the Query Result Set is not by default a base table in the same way your other database tables are. The table produced when you run a query disappears as soon as you close the query. A query is only a definition of what data should be retrieved and displayed from the tables. Therefore, a query always shows the most up-to-date data every time you run it. To switch the query back to Query Design View after running it, click the View drop-down button in the View button group on the Home tab of the ribbon. If you click the View drop-down arrow instead, then select the Design View choice from the drop-down menu to return to the Query Design View. To save your query, click the Save button in the Quick Access toolbar. Then type a name for your query into the dialog box which appears, and click the OK button. You can then close the query without losing your query design work. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.